Like, I had this problem with my, I don't know if I call it sorry, with my chef last time. Uh, when we cook carrots and all in Singapore, uh, we cook them through the nice and soft, okay, like uh, can cut through with uh, a fork. Okay, but then uh, my chef was American, and then he said, okay, blanch them for three minutes or two minutes. So when we took them out, then they were still uh, crunchy. So he said, okay, the sauce be like that. Then when we started cooking, then we will cook them for like uh, seven minutes or ten minutes inside there. Till they were like, uh, how you get carrots in your soup, right? Very, very nice and soft. Then he would tell us, no, it's overcooked, you failed. This dish, no good, do it again. He was it, but in Singapore, we eat carrots like that. So he said no, okay, so uh, for, for him or for the Americans or maybe the, uh, I don't know, uh, in the Western world, carrots, hard, soft, a bit of crunch, you know? I prefer crunch. Yeah, okay, a little bit of bite, yeah, okay, bite maybe. I was going to say, when you asked how long, I was just going to say Yeah, so two, three minutes. Uh, how you would know when it's done, usually you can use a knife or a testing thing, you just poke it in. Of course, if it kind of sticks, just like we did our potatoes, right? Uh, if it sticks like this and it doesn't fall off, then it's pretty cool. So estimate about 2-3 minutes, uh, later you're going to cook it again. Okay, it's not in the water but cooking in the oil, so there is still a bit more of a cooking process. Okay, so then, as these guys are boiling, we do our fish. Okay, so I'm putting it up to number 7 as well. Okay, oil, maybe just uh, half uh, the side of the pan, so not too much. Okay, this is 50 grams of spinach. Uh, when you cook it, it becomes food. Nothing. Okay, so uh, it might look like a lot when you put it into the pan. Don't worry. I'm just gonna slice my garlic. You can slice thin or chop. Yeah, I'm fine with that. As long as it's thin or easy to cook. Because the cooking process is very fast. Okay, dill is for my sauce. Let's just pluck it. Maybe I just chop it a few times. Okay, that's it. Prep done. Okay, so these guys are still going. So once this is done, I'm going to use a uh, perforated spoon over here. There you go. Okay, and then I will stand by. So don't eat it in the water, okay? It's continuous cooking, right? Okay, now I'll scoop it up later. So I'm just going to this here. Okay, fish. Uh, you don't need to let your oil smoke, it doesn't have to be that hot, okay, but make sure it's hot enough. So put here and check with it raw. Well. Let's get a steam fish again. Cook. Okay, don't cook too your fish is here. Okay, so it's dry. And uh, different fish kind of cook differently. Some of them, when they cook, they sort of like crunchy, firm. Uh, the sea bass is nice and soft, flaky. Um, there was once I tried another fish, it was a yellow fish, I can't remember what's the name. Um, when I cooked it, the, complete, the skin completely curled up and it could not become uh, crispy or dehydrated at all. It's a different fish have their different uses. Maybe that one was good for a soup instead. Okay, so I've dried both sides, I'm gonna put my salt and pepper on both sides. Okay, so we're gonna go skin side down first. Okay, so when you put fish down, you always put one side down and then let it go. Okay, don't throw it in. Okay, you'll see how it curls up like this. This is the skin that is starting to shrink. Okay, this guy is done. Okay, once it curls up like this, uh, it's either you use a spatula or you use your hand. I prefer to use my hand because I can feel how soft the fish is, I won't break it. Okay, what I'm trying to do is squeeze out the air pocket, okay, so that the center is not uh, lifted up. If not, that part will remain white. Okay, so I need to get this guy over here. Okay, you can use spatula as well. So over time, it goes down flat again. Okay, then you can drop your heat, maybe number five. So this is the stage where you dehydrate the skin. That's how you get crispy skin. If it keeps too high, you get brown skin before it's dehydrated. That's why it's not nice, right? 
So I get soggy real fast again. Okay, so if I show you what's underneath. Okay, so now it's still super soft, super jelly. Okay, so I cook it longer. Okay, you need to have a decent amount of oil, so inside this is about one tablespoon there. Okay, then at least that can pass under the fish and help it to cook. When the fish is still raw like this, it's okay to press down. When it's cooked, then don't press because it will break. And it won't be so soft anymore. Most of the time when you are done with halfway of the cooking, uh, sorry, that means the skin is like uh, crispy already, uh, it's halfway cooked. Okay, then you can flip over, cook real fast. Okay, maybe as this guy is cooking, I can start my other one. Okay, if you want, you can do some of the components together up to you. starting to become a little bit brown. Okay, I touch it, the sides are crisping up, center is still very uh, soft. So, longer. Most of the time, if your pan is not a non-stick pan, see using like this, all non-stick pan. Um, two things that will help you to make it not stick, that means the skin is uh, oil and heat. Okay, if it's not enough oil or there's not enough heat, it will stick. Okay, because instead of forming a crust uh, fast enough, it just, all the juice comes up and sticks. Okay, as this is going, maybe another one, two minutes. Okay, I'm heating up my pan here. Okay, we're gonna do our wilted spinach. Okay, number nine. Okay, a little bit of oil. Okay, not too much. Okay, we're gonna let this go to almost smoking hot. I'm going to put this in immediately. Okay, uh, you can also stand by some fish stock. Okay, you can take fish stock from there. Um, this will be for your sauce and a little bit for this one over here. So this is about two ladles, two ladles, 200 grams. Fish pot, about one and a half hours. Is there anything more than that? Uh, no point, no more flavor. Sorry? This is new. Yeah, this one we just made. Okay, so this is about 200 grams. So if you look inside later, you'll find that there's some uh, vegetables that I had left over, so I just threw it in. Okay, we'll just finish. Okay, so if I put my garlic in now, uh, in my bun, uh, so I'm gonna go with spinach first. Okay. Uh, once this goes in, I need to season it. Okay, season. Let's drop a little bit. So nothing much happens until the water starts coming out. So I've got some time. Okay, then I put my garlic in. Okay, you can see it's starting to shrink already. It starts to turn dark green. Okay, if your pan is too hot, that is why you have the stuff. It just helps to steam. You don't have to do this. It depends if your pan is too hot or not. If you keep moving around, you want, so you see as it becomes dark green, it starts to become smaller. So you want it wilted, which means not to the point where all the water is coming out. High heat. High heat, yes. High heat, so it's nice and fast. Okay, at this stage, I'm happy with it. Okay, move it all to the side. Let me put it out here. Walk hay? I don't know. You can walk hay this, but just don't burn your leaves. <laughs> Okay, so really fast, okay? Uh, you put too much oil, uh, it would fry like deep, like you get too much brown leaves of this thing. Okay, but always have this on standby, just something. Okay, I can move all my oil to the position as well, cook faster. Okay, then that's it. 
you take it out, it will continue cooking. And make sure you drain out whatever oil, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so this one we don't need anymore. Okay, so... I'll cut the butter for you. Uh, this one teaspoon. So the butter plus the sugar will give you that glaze that you want. Okay, this one goes in with my carrots. I'm gonna stick to around five. Okay, you can add in a little bit of stock that helps the carrots to cook. Okay, sugar, how much? Maybe about two pinches. Don't put too much, it's not too sweet. Okay, then you need to have some salt. Pepper, a few. Uh, the sugar is just for some sweetness, just because sometimes uh, we want our root vegetables to be sweet. Um, carrots are naturally sweet, but then sometimes uh, a little bit more sweetness is okay. Uh, they also help with uh, the glaze as well. Okay. So you can see at the bottom now, this is all liquid, this is all the stock. You want to evaporate that away, then you'll be left only again with butter and sugar. Okay, so usually it looks cloudy when you have liquid, so once the cloudiness goes away, then you know that you have taken out all the stock. Yeah, because in the end when you put it here, you don't want to have too much uh, gravy or liquid. Okay, don't leave it too long, okay, because you will caramelize the sugars and all that. Okay, so you see nice shine on all of them. Okay, then turn it off. Okay, I'm going to use a spoon to take it out. Okay, don't put all the excess butter or, or oil or whatever is inside here, okay? Okay, I'm gonna put them on both sides. Okay, this one is done. Okay, now I come back to this guy over here. I need the plug so you can empty the water out. Oh. Okay, so this is just a few drops. Now oh, I didn't even squeeze this all the way. Okay, if you have a seat that goes in, let's take it out. Okay, make sure your pan is not too hot. Okay, so inside it's still clear. Uh, if your pan is too hot, then it becomes brown. Okay. You just want it to evaporate. Once that is done, then you're going to put the stock in. Your stock, yeah, completely dry. Okay. Your stock is now uh, not concentrated. You want to concentrate the flavors. Uh, later, what you're going to put in is butter, cream, and your dill. Okay, so if I put my stock first, then my lemon has no chance to evaporate. That means I have not concentrated those flavors. Okay, so this way I can concentrate those flavors. Okay, I put my stock. Okay, how much of stock? Uh, if you have a look over here. Okay, so it's just a, it's not a thin layer exactly, it's quite a thick layer. Okay, so it's flat, looks like that. Okay. This is going to evaporate from this much liquid all the way down to almost dry. Okay, so I put P. Uh, so it's about 150 ml. Okay, dill don't go in yet because you don't want it to change color. Uh, don't walk away when you're doing this because you see the bubbles will start to rise. Okay, if you walk away then... Okay, you can also shake it to try and get those bubbles to drop down the space. Okay, same thing. Um, white wine, any kind of wine that you use. Uh, acid. Yes, it's just for acid and sweetness. So, the, what kind of wine you use, whether it's red or white, depending on what kind of dish you're making. Like, if you make cream sauce, then don't use red wine. Like, it's a little bit weird. Okay, so, but white wines are generally more acidic. Yeah, but again, it depends. If I use a Sauvignon Blanc, which is very acidic, versus Chardonnay, which is a nice balance between uh, sour and sweet. Yes, you can use uh, wine instead of lemon. Just Correct, yes. Uh, just for some sour. Uh, okay, because this is supposed to be a lemon butter sauce, you can make it into a white wine cream sauce as well. Okay, just substitute the lemon for white wine. But of course, white wine you will need more than the few drops that we use because okay, this is very sour. So, white wine maybe you have to put about three tablespoons worth so that you can taste it. Also, evaporate. Anytime you use wine, you want to evaporate. 
So one is to concentrate flavors, the other one is to evaporate, uh, to get rid of the alcohol. Okay, now I'm left with uh, about this much, okay, which is not much at all. Okay, you need to have about two tablespoons to stir around later, so I'll use that in the cream. Okay, once I have a thin layer, I'll put it off to the side. Here is about one tablespoon of butter. Okay, when the butter goes in, you need to stir until it uh, melts. Okay, obviously it melts. Okay, then it would emulsify inside. Okay, so I put it in. Okay, continue agitating it. Your heat, you're going to drop it. Let's go to number three or four. Okay, low heat. So I stir, 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 stir. Okay, at this stage, maybe I can put my dill in. Okay, because I don't have a lot of cooking time left. Okay, so every time they emulsify, it becomes a bit cloudy. Okay, so it should be cloudy. If you just leave it alone and you let the butter melt, it will become oily. Then you see the oil floating on top. Unsalted butter. Unsalted butter. Yes, so I season right here because I'm not sure if I want to evaporate this anymore later on. Okay, so butter, because it emulsifies, it helps to thicken the sauce. This one not thick enough. I'm going to put this other sauce. The butter sauce tastes good. Uh, not so good for your belly, yeah. I put it in number 5 because I want to evaporate a little bit more. So the more I evaporate the liquid in there, then the thicker it becomes. Okay, think about this as like your mayonnaise. It's kind of same uh, concept that you're making. Uh, usually about, yeah, usually it's almost instant. Like now, okay, now it's still crispy. Uh, I would say about 5 minutes. You, you can do the sauce at the same time, yes. Okay, so once I'm at this stage, okay, it's a little bit more viscous now, you can see it. Okay, you need to have the viscosity. If you don't have it, uh, one is you evaporate it more, or you add more butter. Okay, but don't use all the butter. Okay, so it's better to evaporate. Okay, last one is cream. Okay, how much of cream? Maybe about one tablespoon is enough. This should be about a tablespoon. You put that in. Uh, usually, you don't want to boil the cream. Okay, just mix it in. Okay, and then you get sauce like this. Uh, if you want it thicker, you can add a little bit more cream. That's fine. Or you can reduce it a bit more. Let me show you. When you do uh, acidic cream sauces, then you have to be careful with the amount of uh, acid that you put inside because acid will coagulate the cream. Okay, that's it. Okay, so now I have a thicker sauce like this. Now I will pour it over my fish. So we taste it first. Just butter, yes. Okay, at the end, once you come over here, sauce is tasty. Okay, you just go around the sides and then you put a little bit here. Okay, I don't put it on top of the skin because I want it to be uh, still nice and crisp, right? So I just pour a little bit under the fish so that you have enough sauce. Okay, don't keep putting too much sauce around the whole fish as well because then it becomes a swimming pool. Okay. So once you reach like this, uh, it's pretty much done. Maybe just a little bit of pepper. Maybe one uh, some milk. Some garnish. Okay, that's it.